Alright, hey YouTube, I'm actually using my new phone to record this video, so we'll see how well it turns out. I'm going to be giving you a quick overview on how to install the newest version of Go Launcher. Uh, if you like the video quality of this video, let me know, and I might use this in some of my videos instead of my um, other camera. Anyway, um, here we go. Um, this is actually a theme for the new Go Launcher, so this is not exactly what it will look like, but all the setup for changing options is the same. Um, you might have seen that I have this thing, it's a calendar widget, it's a little bit hard to see. There are widgets that are specifically made for Go Launcher, which I'll also be going over. Okay, so um, the first thing is how to install. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is just search for a Go Launcher in the store. Hold on. Wait for it to come up. And then when it comes up, oh yeah, I'm downloading something right now on my computer, so it's going to be really slow. It's right there. Go launch your EX. You just click on that, and I'll take you to this page. Um, I already have it installed. You just click install, and then agree to the uh, what are they called permissions. But I already have it installed. So once you have it installed, um, I'll have to show you. It, it'll basically, when you press the home button, it will ask you which launch you want to use, and you just pick the launcher, and you pick the to uh, always use it or use as default launcher. And then whenever you press home, it'll take you to this launcher. Uh, if you want more in-depth details, you can watch my older video. But I just want to explain the new stuff. Okay, um, now it looks a little bit different when you add stuff to the screen. You press menu and it still opens a traditional menu which just may look a little bit different. Um, now it actually has the built-in screenshot feature so you can take a screenshot and it'll be like uh, turn on screenshot mode, OK, and it requires root permissions apparently so if you're rooted and you want to take screenshots you can go ahead and do that. I've never actually done it before but to shake it there we go, screenshot taken. It shows you what the screenshot looks like. That's pretty cool. And the screenshot is saved, and now it's updating the um, picture database. Alright, now to use the new widgets, you can press menu and it will take you to the traditional menu. Or, hold on, let's see if we can. If you long press in the middle, which means to press and hold down for a few seconds, on something that's not an icon, that will take you to the new menu for adding things. This new menu has apps, folders, go widgets, which are, like I said, the specific widgets for here, and just normal widgets. And also they have a little menu at the top that separates the different things. So I think this is a really nice setup. And they even let you change the effects from here. Oh, I turned uh, random. Or I had it on random before, whatever. And you can actually see what the transitions look like before you actually pick them, so that's pretty nice. Alright, so, yeah, we'll just turn on default for now. This is a single core phone. Alright, now if you want to add something to your screen, click add, or click apps, sorry. Then you find an app you like, let's say, uh, Atari, click it, it flies onto whatever screen you have highlighted. You want to put it on a different screen, just slide left and right and pick a different screen. I think all my other ones are full. Yeah, as you see here, they're full. But yeah, if you slide to a different screen and click on something, it will try to add it, and if you don't have any space, it will just flash red. So this is also a nice, small way so you can actually see what's on each screen before you just add something. So, um, if you want to add more screens, you can just tap here, and it will give you another blank screen. Sadly, you can't quite rearrange it from here. Uh, there's probably a new way to rearrange stuff. I haven't figured that out yet, so I'll show you the traditional way in a second. But for widgets, just tap widgets. And I'll bring up the traditional menu in a second. This has to populate it first. Here we go. You probably can't see it very well because screens don't record the best. So we have a whole bunch of random stuff I downloaded just because, just so you could, I show you what different things have widgets look like. Um, you could have a, I don't even know, Soundhound, sure. And it will pop up. It may take a few seconds and it will come right up. You want to add a Go widget, which are the speci ones specifically made for this launcher. You click here. At the bottom, it has go. It has all the different ones. If you don't have it, it'll give you the option to download it. So I have Go Calendar installed. So if I tap here, it will bring up a calendar. And then there's only and then there's different sizes. 
there's only two different sizes here. This is 2x2, two two, and this is 4x3. I'm going to use a 2x2, two two, so I'll still have some space left. Um, sure, default options. Now that we have that, let's look at something we don't have. We do not have the Go Clock widget or any of these other ones. So, If you click on one you don't have, it'll take you to the Google Play Store. We can download it and, then and install it. Once it's installed, it will show up highlighted. Let's go back. It will show it highlighted in here. And if you're wondering about the theme I have, this is actually a theme I specifically made for myself. Just because I like the design and how it looks kind of like one of those 80s hacker movies and the, with the blue and the grid-like pattern and stuff. I don't know if you can really see it very well. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. So, I designed this myself. If you want, I can link it in the video description. It's completely free, of course. Why would I pay, make you guys pay for a theme? <laughs> anyway, so, rearranging screens. You press this button to go to the default, uh, the old style editor. Click edit. And then let's say we want to make, move this screen over here. Drag it over there. Now we rearranged it. Let's say you wanted your main, and whenever you press home, it takes you back to your main uh, home screen. Let's say we don't want this to be our main home screen. We don't want to look at a clock. We want to look at this instead with the YouTube thing. Uh, so we just go back to edit, menu, and then edit. And we just click the home icon there. Hold on, let's see if we can show you again. Edit. See that little house? Just tap on it. It's kind of hard for me to do in the camera, but there you go. This camera focuses really nicely. I like it. My cell phone. My new cell phone. My Skyrocket. Now when you scroll to a different screen, tap the home button. Oh, sorry. I pushed the um, thing instead. Tap the home button. It'll take you to that screen instead. I actually prefer it to be on the one of my clocks, so... Tap menu. Edit. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Menu. Edit. And tap the little house there. Now, whenever we go, tap home to quickly go back to here. Dang, I keep tapping the wrong button. And there you go. This widget is from, the clock I have is from Beautiful Widgets. I just like it that it um, flows better. It has a light blue on it, kind of a, a, a honeycomb ICS kind of deal. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a basic, uh, well, seven minute basic uh, overview of Go Launcher and the new features. So I hope you enjoy it. Oh, um, in case you don't know how to put anything in the bottom bar here, as you can see, I have my phone, um, text messaging, internet, and settings. Let's say you want to put some me down here, like I, on my second bar, I slide over and it changes. So it shows a uh, barcode scanner, um, SSH video player, and I think that's Opera browser. If you want to put some me else there, let's say you wanted to, you really, really liked playing Angry Birds, and you want to have instant access to it without having to scroll over to the screen. You just hold it down, and it will let you move it around. You can move it to another screen if you wanted to by holding it to the edge, and it will bring up this. We're going to put it right in the bar. You can put it, if you put it on top of another thing, it'll make a folder. So, like, let's say I want to make a folder of Angry Birds. Take Angry Birds, long press, which means to hold it down for a few seconds, and then you can move it onto another one, and boom, you have an Angry Birds folder. It's that easy. You can click up here to change the name. I'm not going to bother to do that. Then, you can, when you come back here, just tap on it once, it'll open the folder. And it'll push the other stuff out of the way, and it, I really like the way the folders look. So, yeah, um, you can you go up here to scroll between the pages. It's, it's a really small scroll bar, but, yeah. So, yeah, I went a little bit longer than I expected, but that should give you an understanding of how the newer Go Launcher works. Oh, one last thing. Uh, I can't believe I forgot to say this. Um, let's see. If, yeah, if you double tap on a blank space, it brings up this gestures thing. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, you can just, basically what you can do is you can draw a letter like this, like, okay, I'm going to draw, what should I draw? Uh, I can draw the letter B. And, no, that's not going to, oh yeah, okay, letter B, press next, and you can tie an application to it, or a shortcut. So let's say I want to tie Angry Birds to letter B, even though Angry Birds starts from an A, whatever. Angry Birds. Oops, sorry. Applications. <clears throat> Angry Birds. Okay. So now it shows the drawing of the letter B. Let's see if we can get it focused. There you go. And it says, like, if I draw that that way, then it will launch Angry Birds. So double tap. Go like that. And it should launch Angry Birds. Let's see if it works. Yep. Okay, I don't want to go into anything copyright. So 
let's say you wanted to, you said, okay, well, I can draw letters, launch applications. Well, it's not just that. Let's say you wanted to do this. Oh, wait. Okay, let's redraw this. Okay, you just click Add New Gesture, then Application, and we're going to tie that to the clock. Where is the clock? Uh, there it is, clock. Okay, so now whenever you draw that, let's see if we can get it focused, it will launch the clock. So let's try it. That's not the best. Oh, hey, it was not, it was close to it, close enough to actually launch the clock. So, this is a really cool feature they added, and I like it. I don't use it that often, because I don't really have that many apps on here, and if I do, they're all on my main screens, but this is a cool thing to show off, to be like, oh, look what I can do with my phone. You just, like, double tap anywhere, and it brings up the little thing. So you can, oh, tap them. The only problem is if you have a screen with lots of applications on it, it's kind of hard to hit a place, double tap a place that doesn't have anything on the screen, as you can see here. Works better on something open like that. So, yeah, those are just some interesting things in the new Go Launch. I thought I'd just go over it real quick with you guys. All right, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other applications you want me to talk about, uh, go ahead and post them in the comments below. Or if you have any questions, you can post them, and I'll try to answer as many as I can. Uh, the next video will be about apps that you can use for, like, back-to-school stuff and school and all that good stuff. So, uh, I'll see you next video. Bye.